Roads where we're going, we don't need roads. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the Custom Model Guy and the Aoshima Back to the Future uh, DeLorean build. Uh, this episode will be focusing on the chassis, the wheels and the assembly. Uh, now this kit actually has um, a sliding mechanism which allows the wheels to fold out for flight mode or um, uh, in the normal position for, for driving mode. Um, and um, this is done by a sliding uh, button which is underneath in that little gap that you can see in the picture just there. So I started off with some Zero Paints uh, matte black um, on the chassis and just gave it a good coating with that. I gave that about half hour to dry off and then started up with some Vallejo Chrome. Now I didn't spend quite as long on this as I normally would because basically it's going to be underneath and hardly ever seen. So um, I, there's a hell of a lot of detail to be painted on this and um, I just did it a bit rough and ready so um, um, it's not quite as um, clean line as, uh, as I normally would but um, it's acceptable for, for where it's actually going to be. So. And I did go back over some of the uh, the worst mistakes um, with a little bit of flat black just to um, to correct those. But um, the little brush strokes I just left, I, I as much as I'm a perfectionist, um, I'm not that bothered. Uh, this footage has been cut down and speeded up because it just took uh, a good couple of hours. So um, you don't want to watch the whole thing.
there were these little inserts which the instructions called for green but I didn't find that too fitting so I hit it with some Vallejo Arctic Blue instead. Okay, so with that all painted up and dried, it was time to move on to the actual assembly. Now the first bit was the, uh, the main bar which links the front assembly to the rear assembly. Uh, this in the instructions actually said not to glue that down, but I ended up putting a little spot of glue on the pegs because um, it kept popping up and I didn't want it popping up um, once the, uh, the model was fully assembly assembled um, and it also required some uh, grease which was supplied in the kit to be applied to, applied to the, um, the the surfaces which make contact so um, I squeezed a little bit of that on then just spread it out with a cocktail stick Now it's time to assemble the, the wheel supports, which I'm calling. Um, these held a, um, a piece which actually connects to the wheels and then rotates as the wheel, as the slider slides the supports backwards and forwards. Again, I believe the instructions called for no glue on um, assembling the two halves of the supports, but um, they just fell apart, so I did put a spot of glue on there, but was careful not to get any glue where there is um, anything that needs to be um, needs to be free movement. And so with those supports assembled and glued up and dried, they just slide into those spots. Now as the actuator slides forward, the the angled slot actually pushes them at, out, out and back in again. And then there's a cap on the top which clips in and holds it all in place. And then there's this little uh, actuator bar, I call it. Um, which goes down and fits onto the swivel peg which fits onto the wheel and that actually swivels the tyre to a horizontal position and then back to a vertical. And then there were these pieces which fit on the inside of the rim um, which I'm calling motivators um, and these were matte black. Um, they were just solid matte black but they had these little raised dots on them so I decided to hit those with some Vallejo chrome as well. rubber to the actual rim now I found these uh, alloys to be very um, bright chrome um, so I ended up using some Humbrol uh, black enamel wash um, and um, just darken those down which made the details of the, uh, the rims pop out a little bit extra Just gave them a quick rinse over with the wash. And I left 
them to dry and then used a cotton bud just to wipe off the excess and uh, as you can see it just darkened down that chrome a little bit and made the details stand out a little extra. And then it was time to fit the motivator to the back of the wheel. And there was this little um, plug that goes into the wheel and they just pushed in. And then they were fitted to the actual model themselves. I made sure the wheels were fitted as firmly as possible but they were still quite floppy. And that's it for this episode. And there's the completed model. As you can see, I, I did actually go back and clean up some of those lines a little bit more. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, as always, please, please hit that subscribe button and hit the like button. Um, and uh, you'll get informed of uh, any future videos that we put out. And again, thanks for watching.